Biosis Citation Index is a very structured database. I'm going to use that structure to help me in my searching. I'll be looking at major concepts, which are for broad subject searching, a species search using the taxonomic data field, and taxa notes for broad groupings of animals. In my search, I'll be using major concepts. Major concepts are terms used to index broad topics discussed in a journal article. For example, all articles discussing nutrition, feeding, diets, etc. will be indexed under one major concept, nutrition. In many databases, you need to think of all the words an author might have used to describe a topic. But by using a major concept, the database has done the work for you and you only need to use the one term. There is a list of major concepts that you can browse to check if the topic you're interested in is listed. To access BIOSIS, I first log on to the University Portal, select the Resources tab and the A to Z list of online resources link. Then I choose B from the alphabetical listing and BIOSIS Citation Index. My example search was nutrition of Salmo Sailor. I'm going to look at the nutrition idea first. In the first search box, the drop down menu here, I'm going to choose major concepts. And when I choose major concepts, you see a little link select from list appears. So I'm going to choose the link to the list. I can search the major concept lists either by simply browsing the list and clicking add to add terms to my search or I can search for a term by using the search box at the top. You can see when I browse a list that some terms have a little plus sign next to them and that means that you can expand the term to see narrower topics within that. So for example biochemistry and molecular biophysics and you can see the subtopics within that. You also might notice when I'm browsing the list that there's American spellings. For example, behaviour is spelt the American way. Biosis uses American spellings in its indexes and lists, so that's something to be careful to look out for. I'm going to use the search box at the top and the term I was looking for is nutrition. Type nutrition and click on find. And you can see it has found nutrition and there's a little S next to nutrition and this stands for scope note. I'll click on the S the scope note gives a description of when this term would be useful in your searching. You're also shown related terms. These are terms that are closely related to the term that you searched for. I'll just look more closely at that scope note. Just scroll along and it says for chemical and physical studies of foods, see foods. So what it's doing here is directing you to the best term to use. So if you are interested in the chemical and physical studies, then it's suggesting you should use the foods major concept instead of nutrition. And then it goes on to describe when you would use the term nutrition, studies of the food and liquid requirements of organisms for physiologic functions and so on. So the scope note's really worth looking at to see whether this search term is exactly what you want. So I'm going to use that term nutrition. I'll just scroll back and all I do is click the add button next to nutrition and you see when I click on add it transfers nutrition to the little box at the bottom of the screen and then I click on OK and that transfers the term nutrition to my search screen. Now I'm ready to search that as a major concept. At the moment the database is searching all years and that goes back to 1926. You probably want to change your year setting and there's some preset options for you here so I'm going to use last five years. If you want more precise date range you can simply use the box below and click on search. You see I found a good number of results there. I'm going to select the search link to return to the search screen and clear out my last search. So my next idea was the salmon idea and in biosis you use the Latin systematic name when you're searching for a species. So I'm going to say Samo Sailor and I'm putting that in the double quotation marks because that's a phrase. So I want to find those two words together and in that order. When you're searching for a species you use the taxonomic data search. Again I want to search just the last five years and I click on search and I've found about 1800 results. Now I want to combine my two searches together, the nutrition and salmon search. So I click on the search history option at the top and you can see there's my nutrition search, set number one, and my salmon search, set number two. And I'll just scroll along. And at the other end you can see boxes for each search, so I'll tick those two searches. And then I have the option to combine with and or or. I'm going to use and because I want to narrow this search down, combine those two ideas together and click on combine. And you can see I've found 183 results. So I'll just click on the number to see the results. I'll click on the title of the first record there 
can see you get all the details of the article, the abstract, the summary of the article, and then at the foot of the record, all the indexing terms are added to the record. So you can see in the major concept, there's that term nutrition that I searched on, and then in the taxonomic data, there's salmosalar. So this is how I find this record. If I scroll to the top of the record, you can see there's the check web bridge button to check whether the library has access to the full text of the article. To move to the next record, choose the little orange arrow at the top. To mark a record, to add it to my list, I click on this little add to mark list option. And you see when I click on that, the number here changes to a one. And then at the very top of the record, there's a marked list folder and it now shows one. So I'll move to the next record. I'll mark this record. And you see my marked list folder at the top now has two records in it. Once I've marked all the records I'm interested in, I'd click on the marked list. And from this page, I can choose which parts of the records I want to output. I can print or email those records to myself. And then here at the end, I can output those records into RefWorks. I'll just exit that marked list and return to the search screen and clear out that last search. Now I'm going to look at searching using taxonotes. Taxonotes are very large groupings of taxonomically related organisms and they allow ease of searching. For example, if I search for fish, this covers all the different species that fall within the category of fish. Another example is humans, so this covers women, men, children, homo sapiens. So instead of needing to search for all those different words, I would just use the one taxonote humans and so on. For my example search with taxonotes, I'm going to look for information about the use of vaccination in fish. I'll carry out that search and then I'll look at the different options for refining search results. And there's a couple in particular that are very useful. Concept codes, these are for narrower subjects. So remember, major concepts were for very broad topics. The concept codes are for slightly narrower topics and also literature type. For example, I can refine my results to only literature reviews. Biosis use the term literature review for review articles. Within Biosis, I'm looking for information on the vaccination of fish. I'm going to look at the vaccination idea first. And within Biosis, you don't always need to use the indexes and lists. You can do keyword searching for very specific topics. So I'm looking for vaccination and I'm going to truncate after the N so that I can find vaccine, vaccines, vaccination, vaccinates and so on. And now because I'm not using the indexes or lists, I need to think of all the terms that different authors might have used. I'm going to say or to broaden out my search. And for example, people might say immunization. And here I'm going to use a different truncation symbol, the dollar symbol. The dollar symbol represents one or zero character. In this case, I'm searching for immunization with either a Z or an S, the American or British spelling. And the dollar can stand for either of those letters or no letters. When you're searching using keywords in the drop down menu, use the topic option. Now I want to search for the fish idea and I'm going to use taxonotes for that. So in the drop down menu of the second box, I'm going to choose taxonote. You always combine a taxonote search with another search. When I selected taxonotes, the list automatically appears here for me and I can just scroll down this list or if I type a letter on my keyboard, it will jump to that. So I'm going to type F for fish and it jumps down to the term. Make sure the term's highlighted. I'm still searching the last five years and I click on search. And now for that combined search of vaccination of fish, I found around 775 results. Now down the left hand side, there's options to refine your results. And there's some useful options here. In particular, here's the concept codes that I mentioned. So this is for narrower subject areas than the major concepts. So I click on the little downward arrow and I see some options here. And if I click on the more options or values link, it will show me all the subjects that are represented in my results. So I was looking for vaccination of fish and I see a subject here that could be very useful. Pharmacology, immunological processes and allergy. So I'm going to select this concept and then I click on the refine button. So now I've got 415 results. The other useful option is the refine by literature types. So I select the little downward arrow next to literature types and you see here literature review. So I'll tick the box here. And you see in the brackets after, it tells you how many results I will find. 
So I'm going to find 21 results. I click on Refine and there's my 21 records that will all be review articles. I'll just select Search to go back to the search menu. So you can see BIOS is a very structured database and hopefully you can see you can use that structure to make your searching easier and improve the relevance of the results you find. There are a number of different options for searching. It's worthwhile taking some time to look at these. So for example, there's a chemical and biochemical search option as well.